Maybe you already noticed that there are sharks both on stage and also in the stream. The next talk is by our explanation shark. The explanation shark will show interesting things to you again and again in the following days. If you would prefer to listen to this in English, then you are in luck, you already found it. This talk is translated for you by B from C3 Lingo. You're welcome. If you get feedback for us, please use the hashtag C3Lingo. Now we will start with part one. Explanation shark grows crystals. Okay. I'm the explanation shark. I was already visible in the opening. I'm supposed to do a bit of science. And may uh, do an experiment and that's what i want to do for these days and some of these might take longer it's not something you can show off in just an hour those are experiments that take a few days to develop and that's why i will start the experiment today and tomorrow we'll be able to see the progress and hopefully on day four the experiment will be finished and I can then show the final result. So the experimentation box is the wonderful crystal world. And now the basics on how it works. So the best example for crystals are usually salt crystals, not metal crystals. Also, metals can build crystals, but we are talking about salt crystals. Whoever has this hand warmer at home, it's also a salt crystal solution. So there is water in it and salts in solution. And whenever you have a crystallation core, it the whole thing crystallizes and because of the reaction, it radiates heat very nice in winter and when you heat it up the crystal becomes liquid again and you can reuse it but let's start with the interesting things the fascinating things so what do we have here there is calcium aluminium sulfate with the complex formula but yeah we already noticed there's a lot of water in there this substance was used for coloring um yeah to color cloth nowadays it's used to reduce bleeding when you shave not in germany and it's also used in uh, deodorants. And it's also allowed as E522 in uh, food for stabilization. So in this very nice box, there are five bags of this salt, then two uh, mixing rods. And that's important. And like every good experiment, you first place everything in the open so you can grab it when you need it. Then a bit of color in a turquoise, pincers, and a piece of string that we might want to use. Whoever wants to grow crystals at home, you can just use sugar solve it dissolve it in water then put in a piece of string and it will crystallize if you want to do that experiment at home just use sugar 
Okay. What else is in there? Sorry, my camera person talks to me. Camera child. There are two bowls for decoration. Then there is something that's copyrighted, but I will explain exactly what's uh, written there. There are guidances and instructions. Then there's a measuring cup, a small dino that we will start with, and more for uh, color. Those those colorful rolls are just paper bands. They are very nice if you want to color something. If you have some white pop mache and you want to color it, just use this and it will color the pop mache or paper mache. So we of course keep everything tidy and now there's nice instructions. First of all, we use around 110 milliliters of water. We encourage distilled water because normal water has salts and we want only our salts. We don't want to mix it with random salts from the water. So we now have this cup with a missing uh, mark. Uh, so that's 110 milliliters. And big bottles are removed from the workplace. Always. So this should work. I want my dinosaur in green. Because I think they were green. So I take a piece of this. And I put it in here. So this is adhesive tape or crep tape, masking tape. And it should, the water should now Remove the color from the paper. It just takes a few seconds and the water turns green. So if you need green water at home to scare people, you can easily make it. You take out the paper, of course. Now I have beautiful green water. And now it's just 90 milliliters. If it's more, remove, remove that. Because I don't have a sink on my stage here, I have glasses. As you can see, it's around three. Because these experiments are um, subjected to some variation, it should work. So now I have the green glass, because it's for the green dinosaur, dinosaur and I put this freshly colored water in here. Next, I'm supposed to put a whole bag of this Kali aluminium sulfate and put it all in here. Um, I need scissors. I can't get scissors. This transla uh, translation of non-verbal communication is also provided to you. Uh, 
Okay, something that resembles scissors. And pliers on a hot plate. Ca I'm carefully cutting the back, otherwise, and I take care that all of it is at the bottom of the bag, otherwise it might hurt the experiment. I carefully put this salt in the glass. I stir it carefully. At the same time, I try to boil some water. And now I will warm it up in this pot with normal tap water. I will just heat it up. I won't boil it. The principle in a water bath is so the principle is the same as when melting chocolate if i were to put it directly on the plate on the hot plate the glass would break and it would be a huge mess now i'm waiting and you see at the bottom there is still some crystals undissolved and i'm just waiting for it to dissolve If you want to repeat that with your kids, please stay with your kids. In the instructions, it also says on the back, a whole page or a, a whole lot of information for the parents, what they should keep in mind. But I already read it, so I don't have to read that out loud. But yeah, you should always keep an eye on your kids. But because all of this is also allowed in food, it's not poisonous. Well, not in small doses. Okay. It still needs some time, so I'll leave it here. And get started with a stone that I want to grow. Because I want to grow a crystal in blue this time. Because I like blue stones. And I am keeping red for something else. So we take a bit of this tape and use the scissors on a folding knife for this. And again, we take a bit of distilled water. You can get that in every drugstore, usually for ironing supplies because you use it for ironing. For a steam iron, it uses distilled water as well. And because we are very scientific, I didn't just use too much. I also don't put it back, because with chemical experiments, you don't do that. In general, never put anything back from a storage vessel if you took enough, uh, too much. Because there might be some residue in your new next glass and that might um, uh, that might contaminate your storage vessel. So, is it dissolved now? You can see there is still a lot of salts Un, uh, um, uh, that's still in crystal form and I try to dissolve it by gently stirring it. But we got started on the blue paper. Okay. New color, 
new new stick. I don't want to mix the colors. So if you want to create something like watercolors, this works great. So now I have blue water. And again, a bit too much. So now it's more like 90 milliliters. And I take a freshly cleaned glass. This is where I want to grow the crystal. And now I put the blue water in here. Take the next bag. Carefully put everything in the bag into the glass. Clean up the empty bag because it's not needed anymore. Use this nice uh, stick that I prepared specifically for this purpose. Stir it a little. And once the green liquid is done in the pot, I will put this in next to it. Oh no, it all fits in at once. Perfect. Because it's not fast enough for my taste, I have to put it over here. So I have changed my setup. And move it. Okay, I had to rebuild my setup. That's because I didn't prepare it properly. Okay. So these two experiments are done for now. I have to tidy up a bit and I can already say I will immediately start with the next one, crystal unicorns, growing crystal unicorns. And I just hope that these will dissolve. As soon as it dissolved, so the salts dissolved into the liquid, I will take this glass and enter and put in the prepared dinosaur and close it. And similarly, the other glass I will put here. Maybe I will publish a few photos on our account how the crystals grew. 
We will document everything and provide the documentation, of course. I will need this in a bit. Because now is the best thing. The next kit works differently, which is why I will wear gloves now. Because the substance that's in here is toxic. So I would, it's three grams per kilograms. If I check my weight, I would have to eat a lot of it. But to protect myself, I brought gloves. Here we are growing unicorns, not just dinosaurs. We thought they fit together quite well. You always take everything out first, including the instructions. I think I found the mistake why this is not working as intended, but I think we would have to take a break to fix it. And so I think we have a small electronic problem with a heating lock, but I'll start this experiment first and then we'll try to fix it. So the electronic heating plate might be broken. Yes, something can always go wrong. I prepared the instructions, so I'm prepared. And it's very nicely done for kids. And included are four patterns for unicorns, four very pretty unicorns. A little bit of filter paper that just takes in liquid and moves it along. All of you know it from school and the kids who are listening. You will have the experiment when you put your adding on the filter paper and then you can see how the color dissipates and it moves and it changes along the way. So we have a green one and another one in green. Two inner parts that just uh, fall apart. And two pair of white ones each. Because I worked with green and blue, I will continue to use green and blue. And I put away the calcium aluminium sulfate, take the two dishes and build and set up the filter paper as it's supposed to be very carefully. As in the instruction, as per the instructions, I allowed myself to read them before the show because you want to be prepared. Like this. Now we have a nice, a nice little tree. It's better to see like this. This is now put in an opening 
create it especially for it. So there is these half petri dishes with these crosses in the middle. You can see it like this. So that you can put the trees in there. It's a bit fiddly. Okay, which of the unicorn fits the green crystal? So on the outside, there's the coloring that will color the crystal. I think the rainbow unicorn perfectly works with green. So I will put it on like this. Like this. And now the exciting part, there's the liquid in here. As said, it's toxic. It's 3000 20 milligrams per kilogram of body weight if you eat it. In this bag there is 20 grams. If you can calculate in your head, uh, all the better for you. You can already see, I'll try to make it visible to you, there is a small crystal in there. I will not put it in. It's the same as in this bag the crystal in the metal or the small metal plate that you can't see as well you just see the black point that's just the starter crystal this liquid is called magic water but it's calcium dihydrogen phosphate okay h2po4 one calcium uh, one potassium uh, then water uh, then hydrogen some water uh, some oxygen so it's basic uh, it, it's acidic so i can also do a ph test And it's used as an acidity regulator in food, especially when working with uh, egg liquid. So it's E340. That's the name if you put it in food. So if you have food with the liquid E340, that's the same stuff that I only touch with gloves. So I put it in here and then we hope that in the next days, this liquid uh, it will rise up through the filter paper and on the borders of the filter paper it will crystallize and hopefully cover the whole unicorn. And I will prepare two horns. And in the next days we can observe what happens with it, how it develops. So now I'll try it, put in the liquid first and then the filter paper. I take care of the stone or the crystal because in the instruction it also says that afterwards you can create the liquid yourself if you dissolve the the crystal in water so basically the same thing as in the hand warmer I just put it, you just put it in here. If it's liquid, it has a better hold. Yellow on blue is a blue unicorn. And we'll just continue with another experiment. So we are done with this. 
and tomorrow and tomorrow we can check how far the unicorns got